What's up, everybody? My name is Church. I'm going to be painting this uh, Raw Speed RS2 buggy body for the associated B6.2. Um, I'm starting out by drawing my design straight onto the outside of the body. Uh, change up the windows a little bit. I like to just make it a little bit more unique. You don't have to be confined. So I'm going to be doing like a spike design today. Uh, really simple. Um, add some more little details there. I think that looks okay. It's just a sketch. Uh, it's a lot easier to get straight lines with your X-Acto. Moving on, uh, Liquid Mask. Uh, I like this brand particularly. Um, it seems to dry fast and work well. So you put four coats down. I'll dry with a uh, hair dryer in between. Kratex for the color. I think that's a Pache airbrush. And now I'm starting to cut out my design. Uh, it's easier to just use the blade in your fingers uh, instead of using a blade holder. Seems to be a lot easier to get in there. So now you'll see me start pulling areas that I want blue out. I'm starting with blue. Um, you want to go darkest to lightest. Uh, so I'm starting with dark metallic blue. Then I'll go metallic blue or excuse me, fluorescent blue. I will have to back with white in between. I'll explain that here in a minute. So it's pretty much all pulled out. Here's the metallic blue. Um, leaving some room for the flow blue to shine through basically. And like I said, we'll have to back it with white because uh, I'll be using red and also green on top of it. You don't want to muddy up the blue. It will turn green or purple or just nasty color. So here I'm almost done with blue. I will probably hit it with a hair dryer before I hit white. So there it is dry. We're spraying white now. I can see in the video this white needed to be thinned out. It's spraying very thick. It's a brand new white. I haven't thinned it. Um, you could use water or reducer. I'm pretty sure I had to turn the pressure up just to spray that. Um, I could have easily thinned it in the machine, or excuse me, the airbrush, but I. <laughs>
should have turned it down, but it came out good. So now moving on to fluorescent orange. As you can see, it's that's why I backed the blue with white, or else there would be red on top of the blue and it would have got darker. And more of like a purplish, but... So now we're going to move to the chrome. That's where I usually do white on top of the orange, but uh, today I decided to do chrome. I didn't leave much room for the chrome. I should have left some more room. I did too much orange, but uh, it came out cool. It, was, it looks like a kind of like a chrome, an orange chrome, which is different. Different is good. I love this chrome, uh, it's the Spastix Mirror Chrome. It is thin, it is like water. Um, it dries really fast, but unlike the Createx, you're gonna have to use a paint thinner to clean, uh, clean out your airbrush. Or some kind of airbrush cleaner, like a solvent, not just water. The Createx, you can clean with water. So now I'm removing where I'm going to put the green. I'm going to use the stencil again, I believe. This is the fluorescent green. So I think we're going to be moving on. I start spraying some flow yellow but it's too dark for my liking so i added a little bit of white i made like a custom fluorescent highlighter color so here i am spraying that color this should be the last color Next, I'm going to back it with Tamiya White. It's a uh, aerosol canned-based white. I've been using it for a long time. My original thought was it's going to be stronger, um, you know, and hold up longer with the uh, canned white. But lately, I've been getting some cracking, and it messes up the window. So next, I'm going to try that creative Kratex White water-based Maybe it will uh, work better. So final reveal guys, um, you peel off this outer layer. Um, it's just a thin film, protects the body from overspray. You get to take the Sharpie right off, pretty easy. The next step, take out those window masks. The final step. Besides cutting it out and uh, putting some stickers on it. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you learned something. Hope you learned what not to do. Uh, find me on Instagram, Church RC Design. I could paint you a body, or if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a DM. Thank you.